Hey, uh, what is the blood stagnation? I think you understand the stagnation of the blood is uh, what? blood flow blockage or stop the blood flow. I want to explain the hidden meaning of the, this term. The, beside of the, the blockage, there's another mean. And the blood has, um, the blood loses its function that we call what? The blood stagnation too. In Asian country, most of the Asian country understand this way. This letter in Chinese character, this what? Loss of blood function. It contained another the means loss of the blood function. Okay. Anyway, blockage in TCM something blockage this induced pain. So even the the stool stagnation, or food stagnation, or phlegm stagnation, chi stagnation, or the blood stagnation, all different type of the pain. But anyway, it induced the pain. Okay? The blood related the um the blood stagnant related to pain, it'll be fixed and stabbing pain, which refuse to touch because excess type. And also mostly blood stagnate. The, we'll draw the some picture. If blood flow from the left side to the right side, there's a, some stagnate the blood, which uh, I have to use it the purple color. Anyway, this is a blood stasis. If blood stasis, the blood flow to this direction, there might be increase of the blood pressure in this area. And finally, it cause of the what? Extravation, which is a bleeding. This type of the bleeding usually contains the what? Lots of the clots, and color of the blood will be what? Dark or purple. So dark purple color or the blood clot contained, those are another sign with the blood stagnation. But actually, I want to explain the later thing with uh, hidden meaning of the blood stagnation, which means loss of the blood function. So we have to know about the what is the blood function. There's only two in TCM. The first one is nourishes. Body, which nourishment is what? One of the function of the blood. And the other one is what? It is a basic material of the spiritual activity. So it related with the what? Mental activity or mental condition. And previous one is nourishment. With uh, the blood stagnation, usually cause of the what? Dryness of the body or a certain area. With the stagnate of the blood associated area can be dry up. And, and then there's are some sign and symptom which is related with the blood stagnation. Especially the Shefu Shefu Juyutang, which is good for enzyme factory, which means blood stagnation above the diaphragm include the head regions. You may find out the indication of the, this formula. You may find out this one, the mood swing. And also, Sleeping problem. And also, there's a uh, emotional Especially, there's include the phobia too. Phobia also, one of the signs of the blood stagnation too. I know that the phobia is related with the kidney, kidney deficiency or goblet deficiency. That also causes the phobia or blood deficiency too. But anyway, this is excess type of phobia. So if you understand, I mean the, if you try to understanding of the phobia or this sign, that these kinds of the symptom and sign is more openly seen in the patient who involved the car accident. Okay, and uh, if the big car, I mean the big accidents, they most of People have phobia, 
and sleeping problem and also they cannot control the, their what, the emotion. This is simil similar as, as like the Gammai Dazotang condition, which means dry up the what, body blood and in substance. So spirit, it lose what, the material, which is the uh, basis. It lose up the basis, so mental activity will be cannot controlled by the oneself, right? This is uh, one of sign which is Shep Fuji Tang condition, which is good explanation of spiritual problem. And also another one which is uh, what? Nourishment of the body which is nourishing function. And who has a blood stasis long term knee? They have what? Dry skin or scaly skin can be seen. And also associate area, this uh, skin will be getting thicker with the cold carapace with a thick and scaled uh, what skin can be seen with the blood stasis type. And another one is uh, usually we have thirst on the dry mouth. And also this water without swallowing. Why? These are actually under um, this condition can be seen in blood stasis or blood stagnation because blood stasis it means it loses the function with nourishment function, but the stasis of blood. There's still the blood in the vessel, which means it's not change of the what amount. Amount is same, but lose the function. So people like to what? When people have a dryness of the mouth due to blood stasis. Usually, they don't want to what drink water because there's no reason to refill of the what in substance because there's no change of the what or no decrease of the in substance. I mean the blood or in. So that's why they mostly hold it the water and also without swallowing. But why they have uh, this kind of condition? Because according to TCM, the tongue, there's a tongue is called the offshoot of the heart because there's a lot of the vessel and blood gathered at the tongue area. So if you have blood stasis, this blood vessel also transport um, the blood stagnate. This one also transport or affect the tongue, uh, tongue body part. Tongue body part getting dry due to stasis of blood. So this case usually the people likes to what moisture of the surface of the tongue and then what spill out because there's no reason to refill the, this one. As you know, there's a blood stasis. There's no change of the blood amount, okay? And this is uh, one thing. And also in future study, I mean the more study more, if you find out another thing. As you know, the in child theory or in qi and blood understanding, usually this is blood. Blood also circles or circulate with a certain type of the qi. What is this qi? Uh, nutrient chi, which is called the ink chi, right? Nutrient chi or blood, mostly these two flow into the bloodstream. But if some reason, blood gets stagnate. What's going on? The blood stagnate, that we, we, I mean, the blood that stopped in the stream, that we call the blood stagnate. Blood stagnation, this may cause of the what? Ink chi stagnate. The what is the ink chi? This nourishing chi. Nourishing chi is uh, same as like the nourishment function. Anyway, it also stagnate to that formed what? Phlegm. So who has a uh, blood stagnation long term knee? They might be have what? The phlegm too. So when treat the phlegm disorder, you have to think about what? Active, small amount of the blood stagnation, of the blood activate herb can add it. That might be helps to the what? The transforming of the phlegm or if you have some blood stagnation long term knee you can also use it what or for transform the phlegm i mean that this is a small amount 
of the earth for the transport plum, it is a good idea to remove the blood stasis, which is a long-term stagnation of the blood Remove. That is another good idea. Anyway, so this is more often seen in what stroke patient. And this remove of the all this thing, we quite often use it what shall hollow shall hollow them with uh, shall hollow them also good for what? The patient who has a pain after the stroke. Actually, most of the stroke case, the people doesn't have any pain. Mostly they have what? Motor impairment with the numbness. But the who has a pain in big joint, mostly that means what? The starting of the blood stasis appear, and then, I mean the channel can block it. It means you have to remove the, these two substances. So that's why there's a Tian, the Tian Nan Xiang, which is really good for the removal of the phlegm, and another one is what? Blood activated herb, which is Lu Xiang and Mu Yao. Those are good for what? Blood activate. So if you understand about the Yin Qi, I mean the blood and blood, I mean the blood in or blood stasis and phlegm stasis, all these are connected together. So we try to understand of the blood stasis, you have to know about the, all this connection. And also you have to know about the what? hidden meaning of the blood stasis, which is loss of the blood function. Okay? Thank you.